Friends, have you ever wondered how a search engine like Google comes up with all the information in a matter of a few milliseconds on a keyword that we input bot or robot an algorithm crawls the web similar to a spider systematically through the world wide web and adds new content that it finds to the search engine's index let's find answers to some such questions in today's episode i'm sure you will find it interesting friends did you know that there is a deep web as well invisible and hidden within the world wide web the content on this is never indexed by standard web search engines like google bing or maybe yahoo which means it's never seen or at least not by people who use these search engines deep web provides near anonymity what we see when we google the internet is the surface web where as little as 1% of all the information is available did you know that several websites exist which are not even registered with any search engine they are all hidden by various network security measures like firewalls encryption and so on Now why was the deep web created the nature of the internet is it lacks privacy so if one were to spy on enemy nations defense communication networks or spy for whatever reason how does one do it use deep web like all defense innovations moving into the public domain this one too came from the defense into the public domain it is another matter that most defense establishments today use virtual private networks they don't believe anymore on the earlier systems what actually is blocked out from google like search engines for a start databases and intranets next content of netflix amazon prime video or hbo max or any other similar now as a rule any website that is paywalled such as online payments news articles or media houses or educational content of sites like coursera or udemy or research journal content or publications requiring subscriptions are blocked besides if google bots were to crawl in our bank accounts or our investment accounts for details would we be happy so there is lot of information that needs to be legally blocked have you then ever wondered if most of the information that you may have considered useless or information that you thought was in your exclusive mobile devices or laptops is actually up there in the deep web hidden behind http forms what kind of information is this most of it is useless webmails such as gmail yahoo mail hotmail or any similar chat messages private content on social media sites electronic bank statements electronic health records legal files online banking details restricted access social media pages and profiles some web forums that require you know registration for viewing content and services that use users must pay for are protected by paywalls and gateways video on demand on netflix amazon like portals and online discussion forums magazines and almost all the dailies and newspapers are all up there you cannot see them 
unless you pay for the subscription having said that how would it look like when you bypass local restrictions and access tv or movies services that may not be available on certain local areas or download pirated music or steal movies that are not you know released yet in theaters how does that look that being what it is if you have de- deleted a mail or a photograph or any other you know from your pc or your laptop for whatever reason be sure it can be recovered on the deep web this alone must be a compelling reason to be discreet on the information you share on a whatsapp group or even on your personal mails or maybe on your social media platforms any content of the deep web can be located and accessed by a direct url or internet protocol address or the ip address but may require a password or some other security access to get past the web public website pages you will need a different browser as well however if you used to tor browser which is also called an onion router or i2p network be sure you will be monitored still accessing content on the deep web is re- relatively safe and most internet users do it all the time logging into gmail or linkedin that tor protects ip when visiting the websites and i2p a proxy network helps journalists reporting from dangerous territories when every other communication device is down of course these are the better uses of the deep web why should anyone be monitored if the deep web is searched it is because the dark web is a subset of deep web and for both tor the browser is the same dark web or free net is a peer to peer platform for censorship resistant anonymous communication over the dark net and hosts a lot of illegal and prohibited content what is that content personal passwords black market for stolen credit cards false identity documents drugs firearms malware prostitution sex trafficking child pornography and many as such others even cyber attack services like access to botnets that can conduct ddos attacks are available on the dark net many spam and phishing attacks also originate from a dark web marketplace the dark net that allows this is an overlay network within the internet that can be accessed with specific software configurations and authorization it's a it's a net within a net not everything on the deep web is crime related though therein lies its strength and concern its strength is that it helps crime detection both in cyber and the physical world even when people believe they have created or they have erased all traces of crime its concern is that the information can be misused by unscrupulous operators user accounts on the deep web contain a lot of personal information that criminals might value you and me may not that reason is sufficient to restrict access to much of the deep web unfortunately though deep web's information is in indexed by regular search engines it still can be accessed through specific algorithms available on the github now the cyber safety experts have a large use for the dark web content as they could track yet unknown vulnerabilities and know where exploits originate before they become widespread threats whatever be the case the privacy offered by the tor browser is important governments corporations and governing bodies alike currently participate in 
unauthorized surveillance of online activity simply don't want this to be done that's what some governments believe or even isps to know what they are looking at online you know while some others have no choice actually many tower based sites are controlled by the police across the globe criticizing political ideologies or evading government restrictions perpetuating scams and crime may not be acceptable hence most governments heavily monitor the deep web the dark web cyber security agencies look for activities on these sites to decode cyber crimes now friends that we know or what we know is very little of what is really on the deep web every country researches as much as the cyber enthusiasts and the hackers so what must a common man do just stick to the basics and work with a set of morals and ethics never ever delve into uncharted waters now with that advice i'll end today's episode with the promise to be back the next week the next saturday and until then thank you dhanyawad and namaskar